Hey, hey, how's y'all doing? This is Mr. Blows Your Minds coming with another thought-provoking topic. <laughs> and today's topic, you know I gotta touch it, y'all. It's been out here. Could be a little monotonous and even bringing it up. But since I've heard so much and listening to videos and to people's response, I only think it's right that I myself make some kind of rebuttal to some of the rhetoric that's being put out here. And today's topic is the good old fashioned the never ending story is the white man the devil. <laughs> I don't even understand why we even have to go through this. What do I let me take that back? There is a reason why this discussion has to be formulated in today's generation. Um, when we look back in history, and we look, we're talking about the ancestral history, certain people were chosen because we were auditorial type of historians right I mean it was verbalized there was certain people accordingly were picked to transfer the historian aspect of the culture the nation to the up-and-coming generations and something I notice about today's generation the newer generation in my dissertation here I'm going to try to give some information that will help to really define this is the devil the white man or is the white man the devil and I've heard some shows and I heard some videos and I've seen a lot of comments but I've seen a lot and I would, would have wondered matter of fact I don't even wonder I know that I can tell you based on the answer that majority of the people who gave what generation you come out of see first of all when you even take the word devil itself right if you take the word devil a lot of people have the connotation to the word devil is a biblical religious word right let's say that that would be the foundation of what that word implies but I had I didn't hear because majority of the conscious community people who are let's say of the newer generation a lot of them haven't even gotten into the realm of religion okay you found out within your 20s some of you in your teens about the defect in Christianity so right away you had a disdain for it and you, ups, you, you you abhorred from it, right? So, if you didn't have any foundation in it as in to read in the publication from where the source of this word derived from, then you only have a self-interpretation of the word that is depicted based on an image that they gave you of a place that you know is fictitious in this implication right you know you're not going to see a red man with a trident fire flames around his ass right and a pitchfork with a trident and a pitchfork right okay so let's let's take that word devil and let's understand the terminology of that word devil now in a biblical aspect is applied to the word Satan right so Satan was the one who was the deceiver he was a liar hmm? alright so in the origin of the term of itself deceiver and liar right is in the connotation of this word but let's look at it from the dictionary which you know dictionary 
the etymology of the word dictionary means what we say. Now, we who wield the power will determine what words and meanings are applied to the words we give. Okay? Because what a word means today in its etymological aspect in the beginning of its historical uh, concept it did not denote what it may say today. Now, the word def the definition of the word of, of devil is basically it's the supreme of evil, right? And that's Satan, right? The supreme of evil is Satan. A subordinate, an evil spirit of enmity with God. Matter of fact, if you go in Genesis, um, enmity is being displayed in the word in the scripture. Enmity is supposedly what they teach is that there was going to be two seeds that were going to be born. One would crush the other one. The other one would bruise the other one. Okay? According to how they teach in the Christian doctrine, this is the beginning of actually the seed that was to be the promised seed versus the slanderer seed. Right? So, it means a spirit of enmity with God and having power to afflict on man both with bodily disease and with spiritual corruption and atrocity wicked cruel or ill-tempered person a person of great cleverness energy or recklessness in the definition of what I just gave you did any of these words prescribe to any nationality of people okay we cannot go into a nationality and try to pick out the good from the bad matter of fact when there's a there's a story told in the Bible and it talks about when Abraham is pleading with God and he says to God about Sodom and Gomorrah he says to God, now according, this is what written, this is the story, alright? I'm, I'm only giving you the story. I'm not telling you to believe it. I'm just giving you some foundation to where I'm going. In the story, Abraham is pleading with God as to Sam because God has told him he's going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, because the way this story is being depicted, Abraham can phantom in his mind. How could God, the God of all, look down upon his people and he may make a mistake and he may kill somebody or destroy somebody who might have been righteous amongst this group? So he said it would be unthinkable of a merciful and gracious God like yourself if there should be 50 good in Sodom and Gomorrah. Well the story goes on, God said, there ain't 50 down there. Abraham pleases, well he said, well maybe it might be 49, right? You know what I'm saying? What if it's 49, then you still, okay, what if there's 45? He said, if there's 45, but there is not 45 down there. So he pleads, he gets it, I mean he, he gets the number way down. You go in there and read the story for yourself and those for who just want to be who are inquisitive just to know and didn't know that that story might be in there. And what ended up happening is the only people that was righteous among there was only Abraham's nephew, which was Lot and his family. Right? So based on because his family every if it wasn't for just his family now you got to remember who's Abraham and who's of the blood of the seed and who's he coming out of and the people of Sodom and Gomorrah who were those people right so we have to look at it like in a nation this was like a different nation of people right was none righteous in the eyes of God none see because when you say this word devil, people have this, and this is more towards the newer generation, 
because this is who I'm, I think is having the hardest time with trying to discern because they're trying to make the word devil from its fictitious, from, from its fictitious you know, uh, let's see, how could you put that? From, from its fictitious origin of a, you know, of this story in this image that you have and not understanding that the fact that you know how we really need to be looking at this from a reality we are physical we're not in the spiritual we are in spirit within this body but we are living in a physical plane so anything to materialize in your mental to have some kind of perception of reality has to be in a physical plane state now if you walked around thinking that you want to see somebody with devil and trident and with fire or flames walking around there, you crazy. This simple point and blank. You just crazy. Now, can there be a physical devil individuals, nation of people, who based on the prescription that is said about being the supreme of evil, when they say subordinate of evil spirit, they mean Okay, it's not the evil of evil, but it is the child of, it's like saying how black people, the black community, we say we are, we are, we are gods. Why do we say we are gods? Because we say that we are from the God spirit. We are, we are the, we are the original creation of the creator from the black cosmo, right? of the melanin created and that's who we became okay now this other individual yes is a spirit being okay that's why it's able to walk and talk and do the things it do but it also has a father too and the father of its creation okay and this is where the scene like the terminology is getting mixed because you know, you have to get into the etymology of things. You have to get to the origin, the root of things to understand how these terminologies are being used. Yes, you can look at it from the biblical and say it's a lot of BS. But that's not the way we have to look at it because let me tell you something. Our people walk around here acting as if somehow we have this reverse psychology being used on us how we believe that the things that are prevalent in our day and time as of right now right is because of the mindset that we are let me let me say something to y'all you know what ask yourself do you really think that you th you think out of black consciousness do you even know what black consciousness is? Huh? How far away are we from the origin of the original man? Hmm? We are a melancholy soup. Matter of fact, we are a motley race based on that because of a lot of the intermingling and mixing that we've done we have diluted ourselves to a point that we don't even have the strength that we used to have. So let me let me stay on the point here. All right. So the definition of word devil is a subordinate, meaning it is underneath the the supreme evil spirit. It has enmity with God. Enmity means that you have a disdain, a hatred, a disliking. Uh, jealousy towards the individual right and so if we consider ourselves to be God like or in the image of the creator or are the spirit embodiment of that then the enmity has to be the one who is against that hmm that would have to be as I've heard some brothers say polarity right polarity yes you gotta have a no to have a right you gotta have a left 
to look up, you have to have a down. You understand what I'm saying? That's the polarities. So to have good, you have to have bad, right? Right, wrong, okay. So if there's polarities that exist, okay, I've heard someone say that the polarities exist in all of us and that we have a varying degrees that we can turn. Of course, that's where you get free will in your mind of thought. Of course, you have a right to choose. But then we have some innately things. Okay, this is just part of your genetic makeup. If you are genetically inclined to just be an asshole, you're going to be innately an asshole. Period. Right? You can work on these things and you can turn the variation degree of being a total asshole into just being an ass. Hmm? Right? So, so when we're looking at these different spectrums between nationalities, ethnicities, and race, the polarities are somewhat similar, but there is a difference in the two. Cold is just not like it is hot. There's a degree where they both exist by just a minute of a difference of variations. As the, as the darkest period of night, they say, in the sky is at midnight. But right at midnight, it starts the beginning of day. So even day has a shade where it's at that. Okay, so I understand this concept of polarity that, the, you know, that variations with, uh, that uh, resides in all people. But you can't use that in this. Understand the definition and terminology here. Having the power to afflict on men with bodily diseases and spiritual corruption. He told you, based on a story, that somebody had a vision that told him that he seen a sign, and in this sign we shall conquer. And they took that sign, and that's how they did all this colonization around the damn world. Now, when we talk about bodily diseases, we as the black nation are the most afflicted people on this planet. How is it that diseases seem to attack the most dominant people but seem to resist the most recessive genes? Maybe because it's been altered. Did you ever think of that? Do you not think that people could sit in laboratories and come up with concoctions that specify towards certain genetic that don't have any you know, turbulence or disturbance to other genes? Is that so far out of your mind that that seems like this is some kind of, you know, science fiction type as, you know, depiction? See, again, when you talk about polarities, there are different degrees. Just like there are different degrees of good, there are different degrees of bad. And see, I believe that because of the the kind, the heart that our people have, that there's a point that we won't go beyond. Some of us, some of us learn that, you know, in order to survive, you're going to have to do certain things, you know, to get your point across. All right? But then there's some who are 24 7, 365. Sun, rain, hail, sleet, snow, like the mailman. You feel what I'm saying? And so, if your compass, your moral compass, is broke, you are totally in that realm of what we consider to be bad. Now, every race have those type of individuals. But guess what? The variation difference here is, when you're talking about devil, and understand the terminology of devil. It's not just the fact that it's an individual who was wicked and doing a whole lot of things. Okay? Atrocious and heinous things. This person, his sh shit is affecting everybody that he comes in contact with. You understand what I'm saying? He's having a contact. It's like somebody smoking 
weed next door from your house. You don't smoke weed. But as potent as this stuff is today, and you don't smoke, you liable to catch a contact and you ain't never even rolled up no weed. Put it in a blunt or whatever, how you doing it? You feel what I'm saying? So, understand this terminology. Devilman. Wicked, cruel, ill-tempered person. And something about our young generation, they have this thought that, like, let's say, you put everything in a historical way back when. And let me help you to understand why a lot of y'all are so much with the way back when. See? And y'all have a disdain towards people who now, in this day and age, who still will forecast and keep uh, redundantly talking about it. And it's irritating to your ears. You say, well, because you're saying this and you keep on saying it, that you're staying in a neutral position and you're not moving forward. Really? Do you think that our people don't want nothing and that people just idly sit by and just want to just be in the conditioning? Who don't want anything? Name somebody. Hmm? Name somebody who you just th think they just don't want nothing. Who walks around like that that don't want nothing? You see, but this is somehow in your heads that you believe that people got so complacent with just want to be yelling rhetoric that you believe has no place in nothing and has no uh, value in it. It's because somebody has to be reminded. You see, you have to be reminded. And let me and another thing too. I bet if we was to take a poll. A majority of the people that say that they didn't believe that the white man is the devil, I guarantee you, majority of you are coming in in the in the either the late seventy, okay, I say as late as seventy nine or eighty, and not, I'm not even gonna say all of you because. You know, it just depends what kind of family you grew up coming in a certain particular time. But I'm going to just say the ages between 37 and 49 is where you're going to get your majority of people who are still down with that the white man is the devil. Now, when you go in anything underneath that, Depending on if what other families they come out of, if they come out of any of these 37 to 49 of these parents, a lot of them will stay the same thing. Because you know why? They understand. They've been taught. They done seen the experiences of others or done had some experience. The problem is, a lot of y'all, when you even say the word racism, that's just a word. They use words to justify racism. But they don't really understand what racism is. And so, what we end up doing is, is these people between 37 and 49. Because some of these people in the 50s, they done say, you know, I done heard a couple of brothers. I heard a brother the other day I was listening to, and he was like, look at all these niggas in this pro-black movement. He said, y'all niggas ain't like they was in the 60s. And, and it's like, dude, it's like, Ain't talking about how the white man is the devil and all this stuff. Y'all ain't gonna do nothing gonna bust a great. These young boys out here killing each other and and then they wanna cry to their mamas. Well, that's the new gen. But what about the people in between then? He was in his, you know, middle fifties, right? Maybe late fifties. But you still got your some of your late thirties and your forties who are now the parents. And these are the ones that went through the genocidal bomb of crack that I think a lot of y'all forgot about. Hmm? And plus some of this generation got to taste the inkling or the last bits of some of the stuff that was still going in the 60s. You understand? That stuff was still happening in the 70s. I myself and I can speak on that level. I'm talking from experience. I'm not talking about something I read. You understand what I'm saying? So then you, what you have is you have this 
uh, escapism that the new generation is using. They try to say, well, we, we, you know, we blaming ourselves for the, you know, you know, we we blame ourselves because of the condition we in. We look in our neighborhood and we see that the only people I see that's killing ourselves are black people killing black people. But this is part of cause and effects. This is something that you have not somehow tabulated in your calculation or analysis of thinking of how things got go back to grade school who what why when and where use that and get to some kind of um, root of the word how is it possible that you don't manufacture guns you don't distribute or have gun shops in your where you live at and yet in the 70s you know the games that used to be in the 70s they may have one or two mugs had a gun and we talking about the 38 at that time okay most today got all kinds of military weapons and right there tells you where they're coming from militaristic type you know machinery in the urban community neighborhoods who, where are they getting these guns from? And how and who's getting access to so that they can get them? You understand what I'm saying? Y'all don't look at cause and effect. Matter of fact, I don't even think most people even understand what cause and effects is. Hmm? Let, let, me, let me give you a breakdown of cause and effects. Okay? Now, when you say cause and effect, it's a principle because there's supposed to be seven principles according to some of our ancient teachings, right? Seven principles. And they call this like the hermetic teaching, the philosophy. And so, when you look at the principle of cause and effects, every cause has a cause and effects. Every cause, right? Every cause has its effect. Every effect has its cause. Everything happens according to law. Chance is but a name for law not recognized. Chance. See, and that's how the young generation is thinking. You're thinking chance. The chance is we're doing this. Not that somebody has prescribed. And I've heard some older cats out here on some of these channels who say that we don't want to take responsibility. How can you take, you can take responsibility. Hold on, before I even go there, let, 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 me, let, me, let, me, let me say this. If we understand that we have a, let's, let's put this, I don't want to say psychotic, I don't want to say that, but we have a mental social, you know, we have some mental social problems going on here that are attributed through hundreds and hundreds of years of being tormented, beaten, brutalized, the whole nine, right? And if they, prior to these generations today, were had no kind of, you know, physicians, medical, uh, psychoanalyst treatments, what makes a person today think that all of a sudden just whammo, he going to have his right state of mind? Because you know why? Because we think something about because we get a degree out of a university, that makes us intelligent. Let me tell you something. Go to your stove. How many degrees is on a damn stove? Hmm? 450, 550 degrees? So if you just got one damn degree, could you cook, or could you cook a chicken? in the oven with one degree, how long would it take? Hmm? Not enough, it, 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 ain't, it ain't got no, it's no power in it, right? It's not enough heat to do anything right. So, look how minute your, your, your so-called education is. One damn degree don't make you intelligent. But see, it, it, it's a, you know, this whole allu um, illusionary world, this matrix we live in, See, people like to feel good. That became one of the big little things about with the women movement thing was, well, you know, a woman wants to feel good. Right? She, she, 
feeling good and, and, and really maintaining good health is two different things, isn't it? If you're just feeling good because you look in the mirror, I got on a false wig, some, some fake eyes, I got some cups in my breasts, and I got my ass reduced, and I done lighten up myself with some cream. I look good. I, at least I feel to myself. But does that make you good? You know what I'm saying? That don't make you good. That just something appears and make it's just something to do with you magically subconscious making you appear. See, that's our problem. We want to deal with appearing. We want to deal with the reality of things. You feel what I'm saying? And so when we're going back into this generation and not understanding cause and effects, again, every cause has an effect and every effect has a cause. And there's a law in that. Hmm? There's a law in there. And who created that law? Hmm? Who created that law? Now, that same principle embodies the fact that there is a cause for every effect. And the effect is with every cause. As I keep saying, right? Everything according to the law. That nothing ever merely happens. That there is no such thing as chance. That's why... There are various planes of cause and effect. Variations of cause and effects. Right? Hmm? There's variations. Right? If I give you a little shove, you just do a little bit. If I give you a big shove, you, know, you, you, you feel what I'm saying? If I give you just a good old hee-ho push, you know, what's the effect of that? And what's the cause to you? You understand what I'm saying? Variations in it. So if you're looking at it from that cause and effect and seeing the variations of that, the cause and effect is the same thing when you're talking about the plight of the black nation and what they had to endure. You are still dealing with psycho mental illness. You have not been cured of that. You cannot magically wish it to just go away because you say Somebody came up with some word. You don't even understand how this word even been thrown into our lexicon lately. All of a sudden now we're taking responsibility because where did it come from? They dropped that down in there. Where the white man ain't the devil. Some one of them dropped that in there on you. Now you're sitting there and you're spraying that and you're telling that. Let's look at cause and actions. Let's look at the cause and effects. Let's go based on that. But we don't want to do that. We, we look and escape and then put it on ourselves. And if you understand a little bit about the psych, uh, they call it psych war, the psychology war. They create situations so that they can come in and be the ones to give the answer. I'm going to say that again. They create situations so that they, they can give you the answers that the, of the situation that they caused. Hmm? Sound like this same cause and effect I'm trying to explain here. Alright, so let's look at a chessboard. And on a chessboard, each player on the chessboard has a its own it's, it, you know, it controls its own world. But it has an objective as a to what its whole point of existence is, right? If something is a pawn, even though it can only move two from the beginning and one after that, two and one, depending on your choice, but wherever that pawn is, it's live, it has its, its power, hmm? and it still has its objective to do what it has to do. Right? Yes, it's a variation because it don't have the power of a queen or a rook. You know what I'm saying? Bishops. You know what I'm saying? Your knights. It don't have that. But it has its own power. Okay? It can have cause and effect as much as it don't have much, but it can do enough and it can take out anybody that come by. Them. Correct? So why is it that this new generation keep wanting to find a way to get out of dealing with the night man is the devil? Hmm? Why is it our young people believe because they have uh, 
not been able to rec recognize through this politically correctness how it was introduced in the subliminal seduction of, of, of this integration without historical education of himself. I'm going to say that again. The young people believe that because they cannot recognize the white man as the devil because of the politically correctness that he created because he introduced in your generation a subliminal seduction of integration without you having your historical education of himself not of yourself but of himself see you learn about you but guess what you don't know you don't know him <laughs> huh y'all thought I slipped didn't you I said himself him the devil the new generation don't know him as if some of the older ones do and between 37 and 49 is the one who's trying to tell you the most because the other ones then are already integrated in and then already the fires done burnt low and they ain't got no fight left in them anymore that's why they say well, they don't even teach it some of your grandparents they don't even talk like this no more some of your parents they don't never talk like this because all they telling you you know I hear a lot of other talk saying, oh, well, you know, talk is cheap. We you know we just got to keep moving our action. Do you really think that these mugs created this world and they think somehow you're going to come in and you're going to usurp from them? You think you're going to be allowed to build some stuff up and accumulate to the point that you're just going to be able to just come and just, without them not recognizing it? See? <laughs> That's tell lies to your vision. That's that illuminating. That's that matrix ass world that y'all so keen and love so much. And let me tell you another real truth. Let me tell you something else too. Let me tell you something else. The devil is a mental visual concept to identify the physical realities with a form. I'm going to say that again. The devil term is a mental visual concept to identify the physical realities to a form. For black folks have no identity to an enemy. Without a concept to a reality, and we're not talking about a literal reference. Again, going back to the point when I talk about with this trident and horn. But we're talking about in his actions, deeds, works, pattern, history. I'm going to say that again. Black folks have not identified what the enemy is because without a concept to the reality that I just told you that the devil is a mental visual concept to identify the physical realities in form, the black folks have no identity to the energy without a concept to a reality but not literally reference with a trident and a horn but in his actions, deeds, works, patterns, history. That's why Elijah Muhammad said, white man is the devil. He was made that way. He was, we say, naturally. Hmm? But how come our people are so offended when we say things about other nationalities? And they've done so much atrocity and I mean, they did so much. We don't even have, we don't even know the stories. Anything that has happened to just be sitting and you can read and get some stories of some people. And for a lot of your own families, you don't even know in your own family all the shit that went down. That shit is taboo. They don't, they, you, what? They don't tell you them stories. Hmm? Some of you may have people in your family who have. And you are, I believe you are so blessed. A lot of them, it's a movie I had watched, uh, Feast for All Saints. Young brother was in there trying to get that information of that old history. That mama just, you know, want to be that uh, French Creole, you know what I'm saying? And she said, you ought to be French because you white, you know what I'm saying? You mulatto, so don't even worry about that African stuff. Throw that stuff away and just work towards what you're doing now. 
Just worry about your family and take care of that and everything will work itself out. Okay, yeah, that's that keep hope alive stuff. Hmm? The only one that's getting any real hope is to him. The rest of you just keeping. Hmm? So anyway, and one of the main reasons that a lot of y'all don't really have a concept of what the white man is the devil, so you don't have no experience to the struggles other than financial. I'm going to say that again. The newer generation, you don't have no experience to struggle of the struggle of the struggle other than financial. Do you really understand what it means or what is meant by the white man as the devil? See, you're taking it from a uh, concept of not knowing, no experience. So you can't comprehend something that does not exist in your realm of thought. How can you understand that? And yet when you hear somebody else say it, it sounds so wild to y'all. Or you say it's childish. It has no relevance today. Why are y'all still talking like that? Because, let me tell you something that Hitler said accordingly. <laughs> Excuse me. He said, I don't care who the parents are. Let's say, let's say the conscious community. And here we is trying to raise up and to bring consciousness to the, the, the up and coming generation. He said, you don't care about that. But as long as we control the schools and the education, you will die off. And eventually we will get them into the way we need them to be done. Hmm? See? They already got that planned out. They already been, since you was a little kid watching cartoons. You watch cartoons today and cartoons you think it's just fun. But you don't even see the subliminal messages in cartoons. You don't even see it in there. Y'all watch so much of this shit on TV to the fact that you don't even have to see yourself. But somehow you're comfortable sitting there watching TV. Hmm? You don't even see the white supremacy in that. You don't understand how he's constantly bombarding your psyche to plant in him to be comfortable so that you don't even create the enemy. And then people say, well, the people in my neighborhood who look like me, the ones, they the one killing black people. Black people is killing black people. Well, guess what? If you don't have an enemy, then the enemy becomes you because that's the only thing that you see to see is yourself. You have not came with a reality of an enemy that exists. For those in, for those who know a little bit about the Christianity or the Christian faith, then it say that Satan walks around like a roaring lion looking to devour somebody. Then it also say that uh, he walks around illuminate like he's the light, and yet he'll fool those and make those that think he don't even exist. They said, you know, I said the biggest thing in the world is Satan made people believe he didn't even exist. And that's how y'all act. How is this not unanimous? How is it? How is it not unanimous? I don't get it. I don't understand how it's, this is not a unanimous thought. It don't have to be something we have to be sitting here to just be, you know, broadcasting. They know who they are, but seem like we don't understand it. And if it affects them when you say it to them. If that could be the least you can do. <laughs> you understand? Know That's the least you can do? Wow. Going on. Well, let me let me stick to that point about what I said, the struggle other than the financial. Um, the newer generation, you haven't really struggled. You haven't come, and I'm not saying all of you, because some of you still generationally has still been in the same places that have been you know going back in the in con the conceptions of a lot of the projects and things of that nature I'm not talking about you but some of you other ones you become this so-called you know hypothetical middle class type cast people and you know what I'm saying you got everything you pretty much want. 
He probably even got he'd been driving, having a car when he was in high school, or had friends that had cars and things of that necessities. And you understand what I'm saying? And you know what real plight have you had? You probably couldn't even recognize the simple fact that a lot of times you probably went in places and then they didn't want you in there. You just say, "Well, I'm not going to come back in there because they don't want me in there." But you didn't even understand why they was doing it. You just felt like he was being, you know, disenfranchised a little bit, or you know, was being hated to a little bit, but you didn't connect it that this cat didn't want you in there because of who you were. See, you don't have the experiences. Because why? They tried to change the format through their children because of what hip hop was doing to them. Okay? And so now to integrate to give those younger ones that was bored and they understood the prescription how their families were telling them about what they had to do and how they had to prepare and what they had to stand for in their race but you can't we can't talk to y'all like that mm -mm, ain't no talking to y'all like that oh hey that's that old stuff we ain't even trying to hear old stuff but then you don't even need to study history this stuff that we talking about is old and you know what I'm saying? You just go ahead and keep being that American and keep and keep teaching your kids to be an American. And then a couple generations before you know it, you ain't gonna have to worry. There won't be no bo there won't be no bass in their voice. There probably won't be no melanate. They be very high yellow. Uh, African will <laughs> well you know what they finna do in that they trying to do in Africa, turn it to Europe, and before you know it. I mean, you can look on some applications, and they'll tell you if the click uh, if you will check the box of white. It was talking about for North Africa and all this stuff. South, huh? They even got that on applications. Anyway, let's move on. All right, so let's look at like with Chris. Okay, let's look at uh, Francis Cress Wilson. She's a third generation. Remember, she said, "My," she said, "Her grandmother used to always tell her." You know, your granddaddy was a race man, just like your father was a race man. A race man. What does that mean? Today, when you see somebody a race man, they say he's a man, he's a racist. Oh, he, he don't like white people. That's how they think today. He, he a racist. He for racial pride. He's pro. Hmm? He's pro. You think these other nationalities don't are not for their own people? They just don't have to broadcast it. They just doing it. People all say, well, the Chinese doing it. Yeah. But then if you understood the Chinese history, you think the Chinese don't like the white man? Do you know the Chinese history of what the, the white man did to China when he brought the opium in there? And fuck that nation up. I don't know how many people seen it. They rarely ever show this commercial. There's a commercial that, used, that come on. I'm a, and just for you, those who think the Chinese don't look at the white man, don't like the white man, let me show you something. There's a commercial. Let me see if I can find it. If I can find it, I'm going to put it on here. Shilla 当然,我们是他们的大债主。现在他们都得给我们干活。You can't change the future. Well, one aspect of the commercial they'll tell you, because they don't tell you how they settled there and put them opium and drug their damn country up and towed them up. But they, they worked through it. But see, the problem is, this is what our people don't understand. Everybody else, when you talk about other nationality people, they already on their land that they came from, right? See, 
we might already be on the land we own, but we've been told something else, and that's what we believe. We could be the indigenous of this land because we keep talking about Indians, and for some odd reason, why can't you excavate none of this shit on these Indian territories so we can dig them up, so we can see who they really was? Because I don't believe nothing that comes out of their mouth. And just because you got some people that you may say they Indians and they they from these tribes and they got papers, that don't mean that that ain't. Look, you think that he left anybody? Okay, he gonna leave any of them alive? He cut off all the male and he went there and pumped all the squads and these were the offsprings that he had. That's how he allowed them to stay in there so that he can have what control. So they're just the offsprings of the of the rapes of the white man. Period. And so yeah. They don't fit in there. The only other title you got is that what they're giving you. So that's the only claim you got. But let's let's find out. Why don't nobody go and find out who they really were? Oh, because they done gave you some like voodoo ass story and told you that yeah, you're going there some kind of curse and all this other shit, right? That's to keep your ass from looking under there. Let's move on. So we got the. Uh, Francis Chris Wesson, who's three generations of race men. And you know what she said? That this white supremacy racism, how deep this is? She told you it was in the labor, economics, education, entertainment, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. I'm going to say that again. Labor, economics, education, entertainment, law, pol politics, religion, sex, and war. That's nine. Nine categories. Labor has to do with what? You're working, right? Who's the race that has the biggest unemployment people? But yet, they're one of the smallest of some of this multicultural people. We don't say they're the smallest. Actually, they're the second largest. Okay? But still, they have one of the highest. And why is that? Because, like y'all say, we because we call the white man the devil, that brothers don't want no jobs. Or well, had they worked through the eighties when they were setting up with the crack and then they started coming down and locking brothers up and giving them twenty to fifteen, you understand, for having that little rock in their pocket when the white boys get caught with the same cocaine and wouldn't get no time and then you was losing, you got you got kicked out of school, out of high school, then you got a conviction felony conviction which means you now you can't get no job so they were already setting that up but no that's not cause and effects y'all that that has nothing to do with nothing that's just that, that's our own problem we did that we did that why because most of the places where black folks were oh, no 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 oh, well most of the pulp folks that are black that live in the urban in the cities where are those jobs at for them don't oh, nobody put no factories down there. Hmm? Nobody put no factories in there. Hmm? You get some restaurants, depending if the you know, Indian with the, with his bulletproof window. You understand what I'm saying? So looking at labor, is there discrepancy towards the black man in labor when it comes to work? Even if you was supposed to be a skilled person, if you are a contract, can you get a laboring contract? How come the, the, the contract black man has the hardest time getting a damn contract? And he got skills and he's, you know what I'm saying? But yet he can't still get no damn city contracts. No? They ain't gonna do nothing with the devil? He ain't do that, right? He ain't got, he, there ain't no cause and effects in there, right? Or you can get some of these or you can play like you got some just to be a passing but you can't really do no real nothing real in there right yeah okay y'all ain't live long enough economics <laughs> here we is talking about economics in the 21st century these people been doing economics from the inception and when they was bringing their white uh, you know I, I hear a lot of people say that Europe was bringing their criminals from the jails to America. That ain't, that ain't, that, come on, man. Come on. You, you understand they had pauper laws 
in Europe. To be poor was against the law. So what they were doing was rounding up all them families and shit that didn't have nothing and was out there squandering. The word kidnapping itself derived from that because that's what they were doing. Because you know, he's getting get a nice little penny, grab up one of them kids and throw them on that ship and get his ass over America. You can get him some dollars for that shit. When they tell you they was emptying the jails in Europe, they weren't talking about like going to, you know, Sing Sing or, you know, Rikers Island. They ain't talking about that kind. They was talking about those people who were against the law of the time. They needed, they needed people. And that's where they got it from. That's who they used. It wasn't all every criminal shit. It was grand family, family members. They didn't give no shit. You was breaking the law because your ass didn't have shit. Hmm? Matter of fact, vagrant laws. They that still exist. This is what you're talking about when you're talking about driving while black. Shit, vagrant. Your ass ain't got no job standing on the corner. If you ain't got two dollars in your pocket, no ID, we can lock your ass up. Point blank. It real. Anyway. So economics. They've been doing that from the inception of the beginning of this. And then when they allowed them to come over here, the so-called, you say, they let all those uh, criminals out of the jail. Shit. When they got here, then because of their uh, European ancestry that they considered to be white, they automatically came over here and had rights. So they was able to establish, and this was a big fight during the reconstruction era because who had all the damn skills was us. And they was like, fuck that shit. And this is where the union come in there. You gotta know your history. See, y'all know y'all damn history. That's why y'all can say he ain't the devil. And then, I'm gonna drop something. Uh, I ain't gonna do it now. Okay, let's move on. Education. Let's look at the inception of education was through philanthropy. It was called the Frank Phillips Stoke Family Fund with the Rockefellers. That's who initiated the beginning. When you talk about these so-called black history historical colleges, before we talk about some of them that you know are black, but a lot of them is the names of grandmothers and shit of some of these white folks that was, you know, were giving this money and stuff, right? And so um, they whole agenda was to make the education about agriculture. Now, you even think about you could use your mind. Say, we're going to use you because that's what you're good at. Hmm? No Malcolm X, huh? Now, say, I want to be a lawyer when I grow up. Say, no, no, no. Your people need people like you. Or you're, you're good with your hands. Hmm? So, in education, is the devil controlling that? Didn't they tell you? That when, a bl when the black child is born versus the white child is born, that the black child has more cognitive skills and can move and is a lot more smarter. But sometime by the time he get in that damn school, by the time he get in second, third grade, something happens to his ass and he be just come just dumbfounded. That ain't the devil doing that. That ain't she devil doing that. Hmm? Cause that's who they would they be using in that. And uh, somehow we don't be equating like she ain't part of the equation. Let's move on. Entertainment. <laughs> you don't really have to go with that, do we? Do we have to even go into entertainment? The devil running that too, ain't he? What about law? Go before that judge. Understand them oaths and who your lawyer really is representing when he in there. Is it in there too? Politics, come on. We ain't got to go there. Religion. <laughs> All you got to do is go look at that video I showed you. And he don't tell you that the Christianity that he was teaching you was based on the European Christianity. It's not even the essential Christianity. It's his version with his way and his thought and his ideology. Even though it may have a black face, but I wouldn't never tell you that. But it's the white man ain't in that either. What about war? <laughs> you ain't got to talk about that. Every war, that's him. Sex? <laughs> He done signed away to tamper with that. Huh? That he came up with Planned Parenthood to what? To cut you off from procreating. Hmm? Said cut you off so he could depopulate you. Came with that in 1975, huh? The depopulation program, huh? What was that? Refer referendum 200? I think that's the other one too. Anyway. So let's go on. So... 
Is there any need to debate? Hmm? Is there any need to debate about this? There is a need to debate, and the debate is because the topic is split. And the topic is only split is, be, is due to the fact of this experience, the inexperiences in life of the new generation. You cannot foresee or have a true understanding because you have not experienced it in the sense of it's, the game had changed. This is what you have said. They changed the game. So if the game is changing, when you come in, this is the way you think it is because this is the way it came in because you don't have the total concept. You're trying to pick up on it now and put the puzzles together. Even if you put the picture together, you still don't understand because you don't know it. You need other people to tell you, but you don't want to believe that because you have a different concept. Because when you're in school between the hours of 8 and 3, what are they doing to you? They're brainwashing you and they're telling you don't listen to your damn parents. Hmm? Isn't that what they do? They say they give you shit to take home that most parents can't help with. So the kid look at that shit. Every time my parents help me, I get a fucked up ass grade. So I don't go help them. I don't ask them for no help. So they can't do the shit. They dumb. And that's the concept that builds that seed in your mind. The next thing you know is what happens. That's how you think. Hmm? Isn't that what you do? So, you got to understand how to recognize the patterns of white supremacy in the devil meant. Hmm? Understand, overstanding, I meant to say, overstanding racism, period. You need to overstand it. Because hmm? many of you don't have a real concept of racism other than somebody else's story that you read from a history book and and how it attributes to their history but you yourself don't have that song and I'm gonna tell you the number one reason the number one reason why many of y'all can't say don't wanna bleed or don't wanna say it or want to move past it cause guess what if there was a roll call and you had to get checked. A lot of y'all been sleeping with them. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. A lot of you been sleeping with them. <laughs> you don't want to give up that. Because if you had to give up Buffy. And had to deal. You had to deal with yourself. And you know. You don't really like yourself. You really know deep down. A lot of y'all try to play that game as, you know, I'm pro-black and I'm down. A lot of y'all try to get the lightest thing y'all can get. And I ain't got nothing against light sisters because, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing against them. I love them too. You understand? But, I, but you know what I'm saying. I ain't talking about the light sisters. I'm saying you go get the white girl. Cause you done had so many. Cause then you know once you get away from your little hood, from where you're from, and then you call yourself getting higher education, and and oh, Tyrone, you look kind of good there. Or man, uh, Shanta, you girl, huh? You're hot. I remember that when they started talking about fucking hot. Y'all lost y'all goddamn mind. Cause a white boy called you hot. Now, they keep promoting every time these white boys on there, y'all on there, fucking Sherry Shepherd ass on there, acting a goddamn fool, 40 something years there, years old, and I ass falling over this. I tell you, boy, if I was her husband, they'd have been like, man, Sherry got her ass whooped. I mean, the white girl even had to tell him, it's like, you know, my husband, my husband, Shit, oh, I lost my ring. Man. Look how he look. Look at him. Mm, boy, I tell you. That 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 self-hatred shit always falls out. So anyway, um I just had to bring this out because I've been hearing a lot about what the white man is the devil, and so I just want to put my two cents out there. And if you got any comments, make your comments. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. This is Mr. Blows Your Mind. Come with another thought-provoking topic. Hmm. 
is the white man the devil. You goddamn right.